It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Thursday afternoon, October 4th, 2012. James Burns here apologizing for not getting this podcast out sooner. I planned on doing so, but it's been a long day and had a lot of things going on. So anyways, I wanted to uh, go over uh, my take regarding last night's presidential debate. A lot of people have already chimed in on all sides. Of course, the mainstream media controlled left-right paradigm and uh, several other big time alternative uh, talk show hosts and bloggers have also you know put in their two cents worth but it's my turn first off i wish i would have watched the uh, new episode of south park when it originally aired instead of waiting two hours to watch the re-airing because it was way better than the presidential debate so i got more out of 30 minutes of south park than that 90-minute snooze fest known as uh, last night's presidential debate between Obama and Romney, which was moderated by Jim Lear. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about Jim Lear, but there comes a point when you get to that certain age where it's best for you just to walk away, retire, walk off into the sunset, and he really shouldn't have been the moderator last night. I mean, in the past, he's done a better job, but... Last night was a, a telltale sign that maybe this should be the last time he ever moderates a presidential debate. It went on for 90 minutes, and uh, they went over a number of topics, you know, top concerns, of course, the economy, the unemployment, um, you know, different departments, the budget, the national debt, the wars, etc. And if you missed it and you really, truly actually want to go watch it, which I would not recommend. Uh, The New York Times posted the entire presidential debate up on YouTube, and I'll link it up to the Freedom Files podcast, so it'll be up there as well if you go to the YouTube channel, Freedom Files US, and click on this video. It'll be there along with a couple other links. But if you don't care, then I will do my best to give you the basic cliff notes, and I won't go too far. Now, I'm going to rate the debate two ways. First off, the performance, and then the uh, sustenance. Now, performance-wise, Romney obviously won. He did a much better job than Obama. He was coming in way more prepared for that debate. He constantly kept his eye on Obama uh, whenever he was talking and when Obama was talking. A lot of times, Obama was looking down. I know he takes notes and stuff, and he would not look directly at Romney when it was his turn to debate him. So when they went back and forth, there was a lot more eye contact from Romney towards Obama than vice versa. Plus, to make matters even worse for the president, he looked like he didn't really want to be there. He looked like, you know, sometimes he was flustered, frustrated, a little angry sometimes. He just didn't seem as prepared as Romney was. But that's just the performance aspect of the debate. When it comes to the substance of everything that's actually important, what these two candidates are going to do as president, there was no real winner. Because the debate, the way it works is, it's not like a baseball game or a football game or a hockey game. There is no score at the end of the debate. It's your opinion. It's who you think won the debate that matters. And since we all have different opinions, then there's people out there that think that Romney won, and then there's people out there that believe that Obama won. So everybody's entitled to their opinion. But the real winners last night was, of course, the Commission on Presidential Debates, the networks that aired the debate, they won. We the people once again lost because we really didn't have a real option there between those two clowns. I know, I know Jim Lair talked about, so we got a clear choice here. No, we don't, Jim. Another D rating for you, sir. There is no clear choice between Romney and Obama. But I would recommend you check out the latest reality check from Ben Swan, and I linked it up to freedomfiles.us if you want to go check it out. Uh, He talked about how basically the Democrats and the Republicans have control over the CPD, which is the Commission of Presidential Debates, which has been doing it for a while now. And back in 92, 20 years ago, when Ross Perot was allowed in the debate, Uh, He kind of uh, scared the two-party puppet show rather badly, coming in with 20% of the vote on Election Day in 92. So what the Republicans and Democrats uh, did was, out of fear of having a third party or an independent candidate come in and walk all over them, they decided to uh, make it a little bit harder for a third presidential candidate to partake 
and the CPD debates. And you can watch all that at uh, Ben Swan's Reality Check. Once again, I got that linked up at freedomfiles.us. And, of course, uh, I did not see uh, the third choice that we're going to have. I mean, there's several options, but the best third choice option, of course, Libertarian Party presidential candidate, former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson, who's on the ballot in over 40 states, he's been trying to get into these debates. You know, he asked nicely, him and his running mate, Jim Gray, an awesome judge, by the way, had him on my show a while back. They even filed a lawsuits trying to get on the debates. Of course, that didn't happen. So, once again, we don't really have much of a choice in this country. It's between these two walking, talking, Ken dolls, empty suits, who are basically going to do the same thing. Because neither Romney or Obama are going to do anything that needs to be done in order to get us out of the mess that we're in. This debt, unemployment, wars, the expansion of government, the police state, will continue no matter which one of these clowns is selected as the next puppet in chief. Now, the next couple debates coming up, if you're interested, include next week, Thursday, October 11th, the, pro the vice presidential debate between Biden and Paul Ryan. That should be interesting. <laughs> Then, of course, Tuesday is the second presidential debate. It's going to be more of a town hall debate. And then the third and last presidential debate done by the CPD is going to be on Monday, October 22nd. However, there's actually a real debate coming up this month. Believe it or not, freeandequal.org. That's right. Check this out, freeandequal.org. They're hosting an actual presidential debate between some of the top third-party presidential candidates. Included will be Constitution Party Presidential Candidate Virgil Good, Libertarian Party Presidential Candidate Gary Johnson, Green Party Presidential Candidate Dr. Jill Stein, and Justice Party Presidential Candidate Rocky Anderson. It's going to be taking place on Tuesday, October 23rd, starting at 8 p.m. Central. And, of course, you can watch it online at freeandequal.org. That is freeandequal.org. It's interesting because I found out about this yesterday afternoon, and I was going to look into it a little bit more because I'm all about watching debates. I did debate back in high school, and ever since then, it's been a fascination of mine. But I got an email from Christina Tobin, and she inquired about me becoming uh, a sponsor of the debate because they have several sponsors right now, a whole bunch of them. And I told her that I would love to officially promote freeandequal.org and what they're doing regarding the upcoming presidential debate. And I'm planning on also becoming a sponsor. So look for freedomfiles.us and perhaps even 1787flags.com and maybe even cannabiscorner.com to all help sponsor the freeandequal.org presidential debate between Good, Johnson, Stein, and Anderson. And for more information on that, once again, check out the site freeandequal.org. And as always, be sure and check out our site as well, freedomfiles.us.